Welcome back. Well, the ANC has announced Jeff Makubu as uh, its mayoral candidate. He'll be going up against the DA's Funzi Ngobeni as well as the EFF's Musa Novella. We delve further into what exactly the ANC is offering the residents of Johannesburg with the candidate himself, Jeff Makubu. Jeff, thanks a lot for joining us uh, this evening. I think that the big question is, what are you going to do that uh, the outgoing mayor, Herman Mashaba, or the former mayor, Herman Mashaba, has not already done? What can we expect that's different, especially from the ANC? Good evening, Faith, and good evening to the viewers at home. Um, we, we have a plan. Um, we, had, we are rolling out a plan over the last uh, 20 years. We are incrementally uh, rolling out a plan. Mm -hmm. However, if you ask me what uh, we are going to do that Hemen Mashaba has not done, we are going to be improving the daily experience of the residents of Johannesburg, ensuring that you know when you open the tap, there's water, there's electricity, portals are closed, open spaces are, are maintained, parks in the townships, parks in the suburbs are, are maintained, uh, grass is cut, you know, you know those daily things that uh, the residents of Johannesburg would really like to, to see. In other words, you're going to be doing the same thing that you promised when you lost it in 2016. There's a reason why the ANC lost the local government elections. I mean, obviously, the city of Johannesburg was at the hands of the ANC at one time. It lost it to the hands of the DA. So you're saying you're going to do the exact same thing and hope that people will actually have confidence in the ANC to lead this time around? Well, I don't think that uh, you're saying doing the service delivery things, would, that's, what, that's what led to the ANC losing elections. Remember, we're still the biggest party in council. Mm -hmm. We, the, the, the largest party, DA is 19 seats below the, the ANC. So they cobbled a, a, a loose coalition of uh, seven parties for them to, to govern the city of Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. the but you lost. The truth of the well, matter well, we is, not, you, we, yes, I mean, so, they, the, so here's the thing. There's a reason why I'm saying that you lost is because, you see, the EFF could have decided to side with the African National Congress at that moment of critical time, right, of critical decision making, but they didn't. Yeah. They sided with the Democratic Alliance, yes. right? So during that time, the, the, even though there was a decision making, whether you call it a coalition, whether it was based on matter by matter, case by case, whatever you want, an agreement was formed between the DA and the EFF against the African National Congress. So what I'm asking you is, you lost. 2016. So you, let's just call it what it is. You lost 2016. What I'm asking you now is that if you lost, are you going to be repeating the same things that you said that you're going to be repeating, which is going to make sure that you subsequently fail ultimately, right? All I'm saying to you is that the reason why we got 45 percent, research tells us that it's not exactly what you're mentioning. We, we have to do better. And doing better means that service delivery on the ground must be better. People must feel that their lives are improving and that there's a difference. The social distance that was created between us and the people, um, the, the, the visible service delivery that was lacking, yeah. the core production that we introduced but it had not yet permeated uh, in, in communities, we must intensify that. So the communities of Orange Farm must feel that Orange Farm is a better place and they must do it themselves together with their municipality. Okay, talk to me about accountability. What did you do wrong that you can fix? this time around is to intensify integrity is to intensify um, accountability is to close the gap between our ward councillors our public representatives with the communities be accountable if you can't do something go back to the communities that know we will be doing that something so the ANC itself in the last three years yeah. has been on the ground we've engaged our people we know exactly what to do okay but then you do realize that you are going into this with a, an, a reputation that is questionable and I'm saying this because even though you approach Integrity Commission on that 30 million influencer uh, it's, I will call it an influencer scandal that you, you are, that you were pointed towards and you approached the Integrity Commission around that 30 million rand I mean, it was, a, it was a shadow that was following. And the Integrity Commission subsequently cleared your name. However, the shadow does not leave you, right? So automatically, publicly, do pe can people trust you if you're associated with a 30 million rand irregularity that still exists and follows you like a shadow? Well, one has to clear his name. Mm. Because I just think that the Amapungani article last year, December, was very unfortunate. We responded to it. Um, and of course, that's why I wrote to the public protector, myself, to say if there's anything that wrong that we did while we're in government, please investigate. Mm. I approached the, the, the Integrity Committee of the African National Congress. Uh, the DA, in its, in, in, in its wisdom, passed a resolution that we must appear before the ethics. I said I am prepared to appear before any competent body to disprove the allegations made. I will, I will not get into a media slang. Of course, uh, Hemed Mashaba and the rest have been repeating the, the, the allegations. The story has not developed. Um, and, and, and of course, I'm, I'm Are you very saying confident. that you're innocent? Of course. Are you saying that you're not corrupt? And I'm saying this with, 
with understanding that as a resident we cannot, and I think as municipalities, as this country, Jeff, I'm sure you'd agree with me, we just, we cannot afford any more corrupt officials, whether on local, provincial, or even on national level. We just, we cannot, this country cannot. So I'm asking you now, are you corrupt? Are you clear? Will you do justice to the job? I agree with you. That's why I support the president wholeheartedly with the Zondo Commission, with all other commissions, because the ANC has taken a stance against corruption. Mm. I say to you that I had no doubt in my mind since last year when the article came out that I'm very innocent. And you will lead this country? Well, not this country, but the city right. of Johannesburg. So you're telling me that I'll be president? No, I love you will that, not eh? be president. If you <laughs> failed in 2016, if you can't get your ducks in a row, then you're not going to make it, right? Because no, no. ultimately it's dependent on who decides to vote with whom. The DA, we've got the EFF, we've got different political parties there. Patriotic Alliance is also putting its, uh, its voice in there. Yes, uh, we'll be confident that uh, come Wednesday, we're going to contest. Come Wednesday, we'll, we'll do well. Uh, we don't get into battle to lose. Even in 2016, when the odds were against us, we still contested. This is a political space, and we must still contest it. Yeah. We're looking forward to the political decision that will come out come Wednesday there. We're going to leave it there for this uh, evening, Jeff. Thanks a lot for joining us and shedding some light in terms of should the city of Johannesburg feel safe with this ANC candidate for the executive mayoral position, regional chairperson Jeff Makubu, joining me this evening.